Let's take a look at finding the correlation coefficient on a TA3 TA4 calculator. First, let me go to make up some data. I've got my x values and my y values. And I'll put, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. <coughs> y values, I got 17, 23, 51, 82, and 103. Well, let's go ahead and put input these into our calculator. I'm still in graph mode here, so I'm going to do a second mode exit out. I'll press stat, uh, do enter on edit. And I already have some numbers from my previous example in here, so I'm going to press delete to clean those out. Each time you press delete, it'll delete the number that's highlighted. Okay, so our x values we're going to put in L1, so we've got 1 through 5. So 1 enter, 2 enter, 3 enter, 4 enter, 5 enter. And I'm going to press my right arrow key. And I've got 17 enter, 23 enter. 51 inner, 82 inner, and 103 inner. Let me try that again. 103. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now we want to exit out. So I do a second mode to exit out. Now um, we want to make sure diagnostics is on. So if I press second zero, it'll go into the catalog. And I want to go down to where it says Diagnostic On. Now I can do down arrow quite a few times to get to it. Or I can do Alpha D twice. Don't, know, don't ask me why it's twice. And that will take you down to the Ds. So however you want to do that. And uh, eventually we'll get the Diagnostic On. And I went way past it. Well, I'll eventually get there. There it is. Okay, so we got our little little marker beside diagnostic on. I just press enter twice. Now um, your calculator is set up now for diagnostics, so you shouldn't have to uh, set this um, again. Now on the newer TID4s, I believe you could even set that under your mode. If I press mode, this is the newer software here. I haven't played with this very much. But I have noticed that down here says stat diagnostics off on, um, so I think you can actually turn turn on and off right here. Um, anyway, I'm going to second mode to exit out, and let's go find our find the R. Now again, you only have to do that one time. It'll be this way from now on unless your batteries go dead. So I'll press stat. I want to right arrow to calc, and I want to go down to the fourth one, linear regression. So I got number four highlighted. I'm going to press enter on it. And then I'll press enter again. And the R equals, this last one, is your uh, correlation coefficient. So R is equal to 0.9835, rounding four decimal places. And that's how I find the correlation coefficient on TI3, TI4.